Hey everybody, this is Craig Cuddle, director of Nature Reliance School. I was out exercising, I ruck several times a week uh, with a big, mm, see that pack? With a pack full of sand, uh, about 30, 40 pounds or something. And I came across something that's maybe interesting to a naturalist or uh, the naturalist in you, uh, or a tracker even. We're gonna take a look at what a uh, spider does when you go by. If you knock the cobweb down, I think it's pretty obvious, everybody knows that, but let's say we come by a cobweb and the spider's on it and uh, you hit it but you don't tear it down what's probably going to happen is that the spider is going to leave the center of the web and he's going to immediately go to the top of the web and when that happens he's basically sitting and waiting for whatever prey is there to get hung up and once it uh, slows down he'll come down and start encapsulating it in its web and, and take care of it so it'll be food All right, so there you go. Uh, right in the center of the camera is a spider, and he's already caught a butterfly in his web. But I'm gonna go to the outer limits of the main portion of his web and just shake it a little bit, and we'll try to follow him with the camera, and I apologize, this is shaky, but... And there he goes. He's gonna go up, and he'll probably get up there and stop, and he'll eventually turn around. I don't know if we'll keep him on there that long. But he'll turn around, look down the web, wait till the web starts shaking and come back down. In that manner, he can take care of his food source. Yeah, so again, um, sorry for the shaky camera work, but uh, I, I just find that interesting. I hope you do too. Uh, so think of it. You come through and you track somebody you're tracking an animal, for example, and you can tell it goes by and you see the uh, spider on top of the web, and then something shook the web recently because basically uh, he'll wait there, what I've timed, I've done this several, several times. They will not wait there more than a couple of minutes after the web starts moving. So you can imagine if you're tracking a critter or uh, an animal, a man or whatever, and you come by and you see that a spider is at the top of the web, then something's disturbed him, and it's probably been in the last couple of minutes. So that'll help you determine the time distance gap between you and the quarry that you're after. So, hope that helps. As always with Nature Reliance School, come on, join in, and let's learn together.